Dear gorgeous, there are so many things I want to say, but I've decided the only true way to tell you how I feel is to show you every day for the rest of our lives. You constantly push me to do more, be more, and think more every single day. I learned something new from you and how to, to live life. You bring out the absolute best in me. You often bring out the strength in me that I didn't know was there. I know marriage won't always be easy, but with each other we can handle anything, and we have shown that already. From the moment I met you, I knew I had truly found my best friend, the person that I could do and go anywhere with. I felt not just a want, but a need to be with you. Even now that we have our own place, I still get lonely without you around and end up sleeping on the couch. Hanging out with the guys isn't the same because you're not there. The Jeremiah Evan Barnes. I know this to you. I vow to be your person. There will never be a moment I don't have your back. I promise to be your best friend, your companion, and your lifeline. I promise to be by your side when things are good, when things are bad, and when things are tough. Emily, Emmy Bear. Oh my gosh, you're a lady. Oh my, look at you. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, you are so wonderful and beautiful. You did, you did so good. Wow. Emily, you are my world, my rock, and my queen. And for that, I vow to be patient, sincere, loving, and most of all, there for you, us, and our unborn family. I promise to take care of you first and treat you as the queen that I've always hoped and dreamt about. Can't wait to see what the next 100 years will bring for us. I love you so much, Emily Lynn Barnes. See you soon. We are gathered here today to witness the union of Jeremiah and Emily. And reflecting on their love story and the events that led us here today, two words came to my mind, patience and kindness. In the beginning of their relationship, Emily had to be patient and Jeremiah had to let her be kind to him. He gave himself permission to be cared for. Jeremiah and Emily, as witnessed by your friends, family, and God, you have exchanged vows to love one another for the rest of your lives. You've exchanged rings as a symbol of your love and lit a candle to signify your unity as one. Today you are no longer two, but one. It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Jeremiah, you may kiss your bride.
it is my pleasure to announce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Jeremiah Barnes. They have that 1% luck and I couldn't be more thrilled for my big derp to spend forever with her cute cheerleader guy. Someone who continues day in and day out to treat her with the respect and compassion she deserves that makes her smile brighter than I knew was possible and reciprocate it right back to him. So Jeremiah, I'd like to officially welcome you to the derp family. <laughs> She is probably the best lady I know. These two, they're gonna last forever. They care about each other. Can't even stop looking at each other. It is, the real reason why we're here is to celebrate this beautiful marriage right here. Now I got two sons, two great sons, and a great daughter who still always will be Suzu Bear. You're a father and you have a daughter, once you got that bond, it's there for life.